Welcome Minecraft once again. Uh, this today was the chicken farm and this is another good thing to have when you're building a legit world because it's a pretty good uh, food source. What it does is water is flushed down through the chickens which lay the eggs of course when they're older and not baby chickens. And it, they take the eggs and they flush them down to out of the gates, outside of the farm. So you can go pick them up easily. And, um, yeah, what, what's cool about this is you have a double date, uh, double gated door. So that, that way you can go in anytime without having a bigger chance of having the chickens escape. Because you open one door, you close that door, you go in the next door, you close that door, and then... A lot. Um, I don't know if you guys seen one of my one of my last videos. It wasn't tutorial. It was a, it was a thing of my old of my like best legit world, and uh, I had uh, some wheat in my hand, and they all chased me out, but or followed me out. But make sure you guys don't do that <laughs> because with that patch, they uh, they definitely made it to where they'll follow you. Now we're gonna start off. Uh, instead, of, this is gonna be the like exact same piston setup as the farm. The only difference is is, is instead of having it eight long, it's gonna be seven because uh, the currents aren't don't have enough flow forward to keep going straight. So we do, you do seven because that way it gets to the part where it drops down. So it's going to be 7 down and 11 across, including the corners. But, like I said, this is the exact same setup as the um, farm, or the wheat farm. Alright. I'll uh, make sure you fill those in on the side too so that when the eggs go down they don't get trapped awkwardly off to the side and you're gonna want the walls kinda high so that obviously because so that way the chickens will fly out I, I don't exactly know what their height is at how high they can fly but four or five high usually works pretty well I'm sure you can do one that's two blocks high or something and it won't make it, but I just to be safe, because I never cared really, I just made a high wall, honestly. Now these compartments in the back right here are where the water's going to be held. Well, I just noticed that I awkwardly put an awkward space in there. Please excuse that. <laughs> I, I remember in my farm video I made I made it pretty specific that I like to make things symmetrical. I'd even this, I, this is the first time I just noticed it was making this video just now. So I uh, yeah try to keep everything the same. It, it looks nicer. It looks more clean. So this is right here right now is where the items are gonna drop down and flow forward because of the water. Um, you want to make this like the water flows eight blocks um, away from its source point so or from it from the last drop it did so um, you would count eight over I think I did seven here I'm not hundred percent sure I wasn't watching but um, you kinda wanna go from where the water will stop running back so, and then like a block or two back some that way you when you go down to collect the items, you don't get caught in the current, and it's kind of hard. To, it's not hard, but it's kind of annoying to get caught in the current and push up back against the stairs. Um, yeah, and then you want to do like one block over, like back from over the water, so that way you can see the eggs when they're at the edge of the water. And make sure you get every block that you where you put water in right here get every block because then you'll get the awkward current and keep 
keep the stairs back like I said so you don't get caught in the water pushing you back when you're collecting the eggs. So I'll just move it a block back. It's not, it's, no, it's not difficult whatsoever. Just makes it easier on yourself. And then this is the fence that keeps them in. Now the the chickens are gonna be in the water every now and then. It's nothing to worry about. You see the animals in the water all the time around the maps. But they'll get in there and then don't worry about the the water killing the chickens because it, I they'll be fine. Nothing's gonna drastically happen to worry about it anyway. I mean, don't leave the water running because it's just, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you can. It's just, it's not, it's not fun that way. But yeah, the spacing in between the pistons I messed up on. I, I didn't even notice that, like I said. This is the redstone, just like just like the wheat farm, and you're gonna have to add in the repeaters. Now this is something I didn't say on the last video, but you gotta put the repeaters facing the way the current's gonna be running. You because if you're facing the other way, the repeater will be facing the other way. It's it's kind of weird, but repeaters, like I said before, uh, it acts as a, as an extension cord, so you can have your redstone go further. Or it can be a delayer as well. See, like that, that spacing is like bugging me. If it didn't take so long to like put this these videos up, I would just I would redo the video just to fix that. But I'm not. It takes too long. But you see, that'll sweep all the things forward and they'll drop down into the that hole and then get swept forward once again to you. Now this is for the double door now. This is the first door or well, second door if you're coming going into it. I like to put the roof on it, like an extra uh, fence in the middle because just in case three blocks isn't high enough for some reason and then another door and there's a door system so you open one go in you close close it open the next one close it now this was a fail on the stairs I totally didn't even count and I messed it up <laughs> but it's alright and there you go that's where you'll that way you don't even have to go in to throw in the eggs you just go straight to the top now throwing these in, uh, sometimes the reason why you won't spawn any chickens like this doing right now is because you might have too many like chickens in the world or animals in the world. So you might have to go and go kill some animals. Um, I think it'll, it'll speed up right here in a second. There you go. There you go. So killing animals, I think with the patch they added made it to where you can have more animals in the thing, but... Just notice that the chickens are spawning a lot quicker now. Let's see, there you go. And I think I said this earlier. I don't really remember, but uh, make sure when you throw in the when you have, if you're doing it legitly in a legit world, try to before you throw in the chickens. Sure, you can do it one by one, like. If you only have one egg, you could just toss that in there. But I felt that it was way more easier just to collect like 20 eggs and then throw all those in. Or at least a whole stack or something. I felt like that was... it. I felt like I got way more chickens out of that. And you see that it worked. Everything was pulled forward. Everything that was it went in came out. So 
Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope make sure you check out my other videos. Thanks.